the absolute second before I start pressing record and the high E just happens to break. On the 24th of December, 2005, Skylar Bell sat in front of his TV screen and watched Wallace and Gromit, a first, a, a, a close shave for a first time. It would change his life forever Scan on you sexy motherfuckers it's Gromit And you know what boys we've done it We have a tripod after all these years after all this pain and suffering your boy Gromit he's finally pulled up out of the bag with the fifteen ninety nine tripod from Amazon to record these videos with and videos are going to become much more frequent as I introduce to you Gromit you know what I am a sensible human being I'm not going to pass judgment on this man for being a furry. It is very weird, but you know what? People are entitled to have whatever hobbies they want. And I'm just going to walk on by like I've seen nothing. I'm not going to be sick. I'm not weirded out. Let's carry on with the day. Now I know this isn't much of an introduction video because like th there is still a lot that needs to be done on this bad boy, um, believe me. You can blame that mainly down to fucking Royal Mail. I absolutely made it necessary that I was, had to fucking make an introduction video for him on the 4th of October as I fucking um, explained and so th th that's exactly what I've done. I mean. He is absolutely looking terrible at the moment. Shit needs to be sewn in, uh, more fur needs to be added, a lot of the fur needs to be cut down, more or less the turquoise, but you get a good idea of what he's going to end up looking like just by this. He's going to be turquoise pretty much all over, apart from the ears, the cheek parts, and his hair. Um, the back of his head is turquoise, well not turquoise, fucking purple as well. Here he is, Gromit. Um, Yes, now I'm going to explain why the fuck I've turned into a furry. Ding 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 scat man's world. Now, I've always been a furry, despite the fact that I was very much anti-furry for a lot of years. Obviously, you know those the those the years between like eleven to fourteen, where you kind of just fucking go with the popular floor, if you know what I mean, with the, with, you just like fucking think whatever the popular people think and so th there was a large time where I was full on for you know, Ugh, furry, they, they like to have sex with dogs and all that shit. I always had a fucking interest in anthropomorphic animals and um, I think that, uh, you know, uh, let me try and fucking find some examples for you boys. All sorts of fucking absolute garbage fucking drawings I've done in the past. Um, but it was there was a period where I would do that and I thought, oh, it's just because I like drawing these things. You know, I didn't relate it back to the furry fandom. And then, you know, I started to question myself, you know, you know, you start questioning yourself. You know, like, mm, you know, maybe I'm a furry, maybe, no, nah, nah, there's no way, there's no way. Nah, you know, she's, yeah, 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 I'm a fucking degenerate. But I think what broke the camel's back 
It made me... Do, I, I think that's a really bad fucking analogy, but I'm just going to carry on. Um, and what made me realise, actually, you know, I'm just going to express myself and I'm going to become a furry, was by watching YouTube videos, you know. I think it was just one of those days where you enter the weird side of YouTube and you'd somehow find yourself on, like, a fucking Majira Strawberry video. Hey, guys, Majira. And it was from that I, I, I sat down... I actually didn't just click away for once. I was like, oh, I'm not watching this fucking furry bullshit. I actually decided, you know, what, let's let's give this this um this very camp man a uh, you know five minutes to convince me, and he did. He did it well, and you know from there I moved on to YouTube. It's like Fluke the Husky, Artemis Wishford, probably my favourite furry YouTuber. He's very fucking different furry if you can if you get what I mean. I, it was watching these videos that I soon realised, actually, these people aren't that weird, you know, they're, they're just playing characters. And that's what I've always been interested in, is making characters and playing as those characters. You now I've been playing in the character of Gromit on this YouTube channel for, you know, seven years now, but I finally have something that I can express that character with more in the, in the fucking... <sighs> Fuck off. But it's more or less, um, you know, if you absolutely can't stand the fact that I'm a furry now or something, unsubscribe. You know, there's a button right here, fucking click it, that's all you need to do. But I want to make it absolutely clear to everyone watching that uploads are going to become frequent, let's say two times a week. You know, I'm going to try and stick to that schedule. And here's the biggie. My fucking style of content is not going to change. Don't think that, oh, he's only going to be making fucking furry-related videos now. No, I've got videos planned. I'll go through a couple of them I had now. Uh, one of the videos I want to make soon is the highest I've ever been, which is just a story time on the highest I have ever been. Uh, other things include, you know, just like fucking casual game and uploads and stuff like that. Yeah, there is going to be a few furry-related videos in and amongst those, those fucking uploads. But you know that, that it's it's just to fucking share what I think and share my opinions to that community. It doesn't mean that I am restricting myself from all other communities that I was in before. And I know for a lot of you it's it's such a fucking weird thing because I don't think there's a single fucking subscriber on this channel who was a furry. And all of a sudden it's like I mean, it, and I thought it was actually going to have a successful life. <laughs> fucking, where's the fucking record? Ah, oh, shit. For fuck's sakes, I can't write. Shit. Oh. I have the power of God within me! And I'm gonna answer uh, your fucking questions now. Let Let's go. Where the fuck have I just put my phone at? That is the major disadvantage of owning a fursuit head. You become permanently blind. Right, we, we, we've, we've got one here. Let's have a look what this has to fucking say. Did you fucking that thing? We're off to a great start, aren't we? The answer, of course, to that question is yes, and every night. Immersion does exist. I am a safe for work channel. I've only enjoyed uh, drawing and creating characters that are safe for work. I've never been into any of that fucking furry porn stuff. But, you know, it's I can't sit here and deny that fucking there isn't a section of the furry community that is into that kind of shit. Um, I am not into that kind of shit, however, like I said, I'm, I'm going to start repeating myself here, ain't I? What is it? A sex thing? <sighs> the fuck is it with your questions having to be about sex? No. But once again, I cannot say that that is for the, for the, the entirety of the fucking fandom. There is parts that are sexual, and I cannot fucking uh, try and deny that factor. I'm safe for work. A lot, of, uh, The majority of furries are safe for work, but, you know, 
it's just a, a, a dark part of a, of a massive community. You know, it's it's a fucking community. There's bound to be some fucking weirdos in it. There's bound to be some chill dudes in it. There's bound to be some mediocre dudes in it. Who the fuck cares? What's this one? I, I, I couldn't even fucking hear what, what you said, to be honest with you. I, I literally have no clue. Oh, uh, 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 Hi there, sisters! Now, it seemed pretty fitting to quite literally come out of the closet for this segment because I am, in fact, a straight man and I, I've always been a straight man. I am heterosexual. Uh, and no, I'm not gay. However, a large portion of the furry community do identify somewhere in the LGBTQ range. I think it's around 72%. But why the fuck would that matter? It's 2021. You dickhead. Okie dokie, we do have one more uh, video question. Let's have a look at this bad boy. What's like being a degenerate? It feels good, bro. It feels good, and it's nice to see that you are indeed wearing your mask, you know, stopping the spread of COVID-19. I mean, you're still a fucking cunt, but I mean, that, that's not, not, not the point. You are wearing a mask, you are saving lives. Right, guys, that's the end of that bad boy video. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it the thumbs down. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it the thumbs up. I'll be back in the next couple of days with a brand new video for you motherfuckers. It's been Gromit, and I'll see you later. I think I'm gonna go do some fucking mercy. <laughs> Cleaning this fucking shit up for hours.